these athletes have promised well, us a war. Let's see if they deliver. What did you say? Yeah, it's, his whip. Yeah, he's like. He's, he's got a lead in there. Yeah. The score with that left hand. Caught him there with the left hook. Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media. It's time to settle the score. He misses with that jab. When I, when I fought him last time, he wasn't like super terrible. But he, he Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He threw the hook, didn't land. So it's like it's hard for me to like leave out of the way from him and hit him because I don't have a reach to do that anyway. So when you're got shorter arms, you gotta go to there and fight on the inside. You gotta give them a crowding basically. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter punch is people that make their history. You might try and watch out for all the better. I can only punch him can't fucking hit me with. He's not doing himself in favors. This counterfighter believes in the any. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. That was super tight. But, uh, I dread being a judge. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good round. Do you think he took Fury, like, knowing that there was an advantage, or... What'd you say? Did he take Fury knowing there was some kind of advantage? Uh, he probably just wanted to pick up my ranking fighter. Um, he... He said... He specifically said he didn't want to be Ali, because Ali's, like, fucking overpowered. Um, and I kind of agree. I haven't really... I've never fought Ali, either online or, um... What the hell is this I've never fought Ali, either online or in, uh... uh in a single player match, but um, what I, what I time winding is down as we like get set to jump back in the action. So fucking overwhelming, and I understand the complaint to a point because while Ali was, you know, obviously possibly the greatest of all time, uh, the fighter's gonna get quick first. Like, he wasn't like a Tyson or like a. He got out of the way of that right hook. I don't know if he's like this counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then we'll strike like, like a snake. snake. Like, Keep an eye on this guy. Go find to the counter puncher. You've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that. Then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twist. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. He missed with that jab. Like As it is in most heavyweight now, fights, like, don't blink because one big shot because, and this thing uh, could be over. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys <laughs> winning hands <laughs> down. And down goes Fury! Kind of funny because I think he was just criticizing me for being too lean. You know? So final 10 seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. Oh, you're fucking right. What is that?
He nailed him. Both fighters unwilling to engage in that round. A bit surprised. No, no, keep your eye on the ball. This is where you're getting off top. Don't close your eyes now. What I wanted to say during that fight is uh, when you mentioned he's expecting you to just charge in and just fight him head straight on. It's like that's been the whole complaint. Like, you, you're, you're known not to do that. He just said he got hit with a with a ghost knockdown, which is entirely possible. Um, I just I was sending some messages in between. There. The referee calling for second yeah, tap. I mean, right back in the hit action. With a ghost punch once. Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? He just time. misses with that jab. Yeah, I've gone as, I've gone as uh, many as six rounds of perfect stamina than people are accusing of cheating. He misses with that jab. I'm happy with my performance on that though because uh, the heavyweights they're not as uh, they're not as stamina efficient and they're slower. That's kind of why I don't like them. So I use Chun Li. Talk about punches really and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Not even gifted with hand speed, footwork, yeah. movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. You have the advantage right now. These two are the perfect dance partners. Neither man really defending themselves. He might be trying to convince him to come in. He's doing a shit job of it. He's going to come up and not block his body. You know I'm going to go for that. What he said like last time is you're so good at the body shot. You can block it. He blocks that jab. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing off, and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Don't change too much yet. Keep doing what you're doing. You've got to work Mate, he's gone. I'm telling you, he's yeah, gone. Yeah, I think he got the The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up really, and get a breather. Like before you hit the body a lot before, and I'm like, I assure you, I'm hitting the body. I don't know what you're seeing. Who will be buzzed first? He's playing his house now. Come on, buddy. Come on. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. <laughs> He's not typing like an idiot, is he? They both want a knockout, you can tell. Nope, We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. 
Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't know, think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fager to pickpocket them. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. And he misses with that jab. Nice exchange here from both men. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with... Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge his right. He's got to do his job right. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. Mate, he's shattered. Come on. Look across at him. Look at him now. You can see him right now. Go out there and finish him. Fight. It's so important now in this first minute of this next round. Just get on top of him. Time winding down as we get set for another round. Is he saying anything in the chat? Yeah, why would you tell him about, you know, the desync of all He's going to be the first it. one to get buzzed. Like, you're not throwing body shots at him. I'm definitely. Both of these men showing it's exceptional chins, by the way. It's fucking. Thousand feet taller than you. Know, but where else are you gonna put the switch? Oh, and he caught him there with a right hook. Usyk though, he's just so damn slow. Like, that combo right there, that, uh, that, that body up there, and then hit. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about so how many you land there. and how hard they are. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you well, know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. <laughs> nice exchanges from both men in this round. He takes that jab. Well, he's got such a low reach of him, but me trying to jab at him doesn't do it. You'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. This can be so frustrating when you're in with such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. I love that. I love that. I have kept great. going in a six at one fire. I'm beautiful. Okay. Still hearing that. He didn't do it. Not that I'm. I've been playing this game with headphones before, or I have. Not when it's this loud, and like so now I'm really hearing the problem in good detail. And they did not do a good job of not making the voice out for some of you. I'm like, I'm echoing the room. 
because when they're like that. Like, without the headphones, you kind of you kind of can't hear them over the crowd as well, so it's not a big deal. But with headphones on, yeah, it just sounds like it sounds like you're visiting the, the referee like calling. You're hearing someone talking in the background about the horse chat. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? You can still hear me, right? I can hear you. And he just missed with that left jab. Miss with the jab. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter has got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to push their boom. In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way to a fire. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Can't find a home for that jab. Fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now we've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm because it's very close round with 10 seconds to go. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge his right. He's got to do his job right. Absolutely. Yeah, right. That round feels good. Good man. He'll ride it out. He's missing a lot. He's doing what he's doing. He's got to appear. He's going to start tying up. I don't want to go to the score. My advantage is usually that um, fighters like him, you can tell he's throwing hands everywhere. Um, but he's not really sticking to a game plan. He's not picking a part of my body to uh, dissect over time. And I am specifically targeted to your ears. He just asked me, what are my stats? I'm not going to act tell you that. I mean, what did even Unfortunately, matter? this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather right back into the action. I, I'll tell him after the fight how I was doing. But, uh, I don't know. Which fighter is going to get caught first? Yeah, he's got more points than that's probably going to be a lot easier. And he blocks the left uppercut. He should probably get more aggressive because we're only doing 10 rounds. Back and forth they go. Just misses with that big right hand. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That hook won't score.
how much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protection, everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Which fighter is winning this bout? It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Mate, he's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up, and every time you see him, take a big deep breath. Bang him down, body and head. Be smart, change your angle. Go out there and finish him. He's ready. He told me what his is, so I gave him my two percentages, but uh I don't know if he's gonna win really gonna get a deal with that. I don't know if he's winning this fight or if one judge is telling him he's winning this fight. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. I'd like to give him a KO to win that fight. But what happened I know that he will take a knee. Fine. Who will be buzzed first? said 95 you can't believe my stamina retention throws the jab but does not score hit him with the left jab good punch the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work, that's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That left hook missed. What's that? It's not me. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. Oh, and Tyson Fury. Yep, yep, yep. So the problem One, is this guy often two, takes me when he plays, and I don't know what he's trying to cheat, five, but there's a problem in the game if you take a knee in a round and it blows the round score and makes it even. So the round winding down now, well, and it's been another good, good one for him. Getting up game. Boy, even after that much time has passed, it's lost. Awesome. Time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. A knockout victory. That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again. It will happen all over again. It's hard to tell.